Hi, it is Tony here from Custom PCs Australia. Today we're going to have a look at the system requirements for Bethesda's highly anticipated Starfield. It must be noted that Bethesda has partnered with AMD, so most of the requirements are based around this. AMD are currently running a promo to get Starfield for free with a purchase of any of the on-screen CPU or graphics cards. This is limited to AMD's new Zen 4 CPUs only, although the GPU giveaway can be last gen or the current gen. Could be a great time for an upgrade. As a starting point, it should be noted that Bethesda is saying that you must run this game from a solid state drive. The faster the better. It seems to be bad luck for anyone still running a mechanical drive. If you are looking to upgrade your PC with a new SSD for this game, bear in mind you'll want a minimum 500GB as the game at its base point will take around 140 gigabytes of space. You'll also want to leave plenty of room for updates and expansions in the future. We recommend the following SSDs. For Gen 4 SSDs, you will need an Intel CPU, which is 11th Gen or newer. For Ryzen, you'll need a 3000 series or newer. These read-write speeds are in megabytes per second. So first off, the crucial P5 Plus Gen 4, which has a 6600 and 4000 read-write speeds. The next one we recommend is the Samsung 980 Pro Gen 4, which has 6900 and 5000 read-write speeds. If you are after one of the best available to make your gameplay the best it can be, then look for the WD Black SN850X, which has 7300 and 6350 read-write speeds. If you are stuck with Gen 3, then have a look at the Samsung 980. It has 3100 and 2600 read-write speeds and is one of the faster Gen 3 NVMe SSDs. We will leave a link in the description for these if you wish to purchase any of them. Now Bethesda has partnered with AMD for the release of Starfield. Here's Todd Howard to tell you a little bit about this. Thank you. Uh, we are so excited for our new partnership with AMD on Starfield. It really is the most ambitious game we've ever made. We've built all new technology for it with Creation Engine 2 and working with AMD on that to make it look great and run great has been really, really special. We have AMD engineers in our code base uh, working on FSR2 image processing and upscaling and it looks incredible. You're gonna get the benefits of that obviously on your PC but also on Xbox. We're super excited and can't wait to show everybody more. So thanks for having me. Now AMD lists the requirements as follows. For a heroic experience, a Ryzen 5 7600 CPU. Now this would mean that you'd need the AM5 platform, requiring you to have possibly a new motherboard and DDR5 RAM. So it's certainly not the cheapest option. They also recommend a Radeon RX 7600 with an A620 motherboard. For an epic experience in 2K resolution, they recommend a Ryzen 7 7700X CPU with a Radeon RX 6800 graphics card. A B650 motherboard is also recommended. For a legendary experience in 4K resolution, uh, we're getting to some pretty high-end spec here. So Ryzen 7 7800X 3D with a Radeon RX 7900 XT and an AMD X670 motherboard. We can gather from this that to get an ultra experience in 4K on the Intel and Nvidia side of things, it would require an i9 processor and an RTX 4080 at the minimum, preferably an RTX 4090 to give similar results. Due to the partnership between Bethesda and AMD, these are the only ultra specification that is available as of today's recording. We can now move on to the game's minimum and recommended spec which are a lot more modest than the previously mentioned AMD specification. Now looking at the minimum, uh, with this hardware you will likely be able to play Starfield at 720p or 1080p with a solid frame rate of 30 frames per second on low settings only. So Windows 10 operating system, AMD Ryzen 5 2600X or an Intel Core i7 6800K. Memory 16GB of RAM, graphics, AMD Radeon RX 5700 or a NVIDIA GeForce 1070 Ti. DirectX version 12, uh, 125 gigs of available storage space, 
and again must be an SSD. Now in most cases recommended specs will enable you to turn settings up to medium or high and enjoy a decently high frame rate while playing at 1080p or 1440p. Some of the best gaming laptops should be able to handle this rather easily. So the operating system is either Windows 10 or 11, the processor AMD Ryzen 5 3600X or Intel Core i5 10600K. So pretty modest on the CPU side of things. Memory at 16 GB of RAM, graphics AMD Radeon RX 6800 XT or an Nvidia GeForce RTX 2080, DirectX version 12 and 125 GB of available space. Once more, SSD is required. Even at just the recommended spec, Starfield is shaping up to be a power hungry game, requiring a beefy graphics card. This is somewhat offset by a fairly modest CPU specification. Hopefully this has helped you decide what upgrades, if any, that are required prior to Starfield's launch on the 6th of September, or on the 1st of September for those lucky enough to have the upgrade editions. We are currently running a giveaway for two copies of Starfield on PC or Xbox. All you need to do is jump onto our site at www.custompcaustralia.com.au, scroll down to the competition button and enter. You can gain more entries by following our social media outlets. I will leave a link below if you do wish to enter that competition. Thanks for watching. As always, if you have enjoyed this content, we would love a like on the video. You can also subscribe to be the first to see our new content. See you in the next one. Cheers.